Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're learning about forming and solving equations. Let's start with this example. Calculate the area of the square. It's labelled 4x plus 8 and 6x minus 2. We know that these two lengths must be equal to each other because it is a square and all sides have equal length. So therefore we can say 4x plus 8 is equal to 6x minus 2. We have solved, uh, we have formed an equation from the information given. That's always where we start with equ uh, questions like this. We form an equation to solve. And then we solve it. Uh, to, the opposite of minus 2 is plus 2. We add 2 to both sides. And we get 4x plus 10 is equal to 6x. Then we take 4x off both sides and we get 10 equals 2x. Now we need to divide by 2 to get rid of the times by 2. We divide by 2, divide by 2, and we get x is equal to 5. We now know that x is equal to 5, and we can put that into the original side lengths. So we substitute that in, and we get 4 times 5 plus 8 is equal to 28, and also 6 times 5 minus 2 is also 28. This confirms that we've got the right x, because both sides are indeed equal to each other. Now remember the question asked us to find the area, so all we have to do is multiply the sides together. 28 times 28 is 784 centimetres squared. And that is the final answer. OK, let's look at example two. The diagram shows three straight lines. A, B, and C, D are parallel. Show that, sorry, A, B, and C, D are parallel. So A, B is this line, and C, D is this line. And we're trying to show that they are parallel. We're going to use the information in the picture. So first we see that these two angles, are the X plus 25 and the TX plus 35, are angles on a straight line. They must add up to 180 degrees. So we can add them together to make 180 degrees. We have formed an equation again. Okay, now we're going to simplify. So we combine the x's, x and 2x make 3x. 25 and 35 make 60. We take 60 off both sides. We get 3x equals 120. Divide by 3, divide by 3. We get x equals 40. We know what x is now and can substitute it into the original equations, like this. We can evaluate these. If you calculate what the exact size of these angles, using that algebra, we get that this angle is 65, this is 115, and this is 115. You can see that these two angles are the same. And that shows they are corresponding angles on parallel lines. This proves that these two lines are parallel because they match our rules for parallel lines. That corresponding angles are the same. We have uh, shown that they are parallel and we have done. Okay. I've shown you the examples for today. Now it's time for you to try your own uh, questions yourself. Pause the video here and try to complete these two practice questions. If you need to re-watch the video first, that's okay. Just rewind and watch again. But if you're ready, pause the video. And if you're ready, I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Did you get it correct? Let me know how well you did in the comments. Thanks for watching this week's video for Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We've got plenty of videos from GCSE, A-Level and IB Maths with quick and simple explanations and new videos will be coming very soon. We're also online at advancedmaths.com. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.